All right, y'all. So we back at it with another video. Today we are gonna try to conquer doing clears on a Q50. I have only seen this done a handful of times and there is no type of instructions on how to do this, but I've done my research, same as my friend, and we're gonna try to tackle this as best as we can. We're gonna take y'all through it the whole entire way, step by step. So hopefully, hopefully, if this is successful, it will be posted. And then you guys will have a tutorial on how to do clears on the Q50. So I'm gonna show y'all already what we've already done real quick. And then, so yeah, let's get into it. All right guys, so the first step is getting your taillights out of the actual car. So these little, don't mind my trunk. It is super messy. I got all types of stuff in there. Look, so these, oh, wrong side. These go here, you have to pop those out. It's very tricky actually. As you can see, I have all these wedges because last time I did this with this on, this obviously broke right here. I don't know if you guys can see that, but yeah, that's broke. And then the clip on the back actually broke too. So it's hanging on by one clip, really sketchy, but it doesn't really matter actually. But, and then this side, so I just wedged all of them. I think the easiest way, get some wedges, kind of have it like popping out a little bit. And then the clips are right here. I wedged a, um, what is it called? Flats head in here and then just pops it out. So then that's the first step. And then right now we pulled off all these layering, which is just clips. You just pop out clip there, clip there, same on the other side, pull it back, take your connectors out. And then now we can work on actually getting the taillights off the car of the back end. So yeah, we'll take you guys through that process real quick. And then we'll start on this after, but we'll check in with y'all. All right, so let's get into it. So guys, the taillights are out now. Basically what you guys saw in the video was these two bolts being taken out, which are right here, that you needed a 10 for damn tens i'm surprised i still have mine and then basically this you just screw out pop it out same with this one as well and then this little tiny connector i used like a flat head almost and you just hit that little tiny clip right at the edge and then you can pull it right out and i would say probably i need to keep these out of the sun i would say because I don't want the sun hitting those too much. I might mess it up, but yeah. So that's it on both sides. That's all you have to do. And then now the actual fun part is the clearing process. So we'll start on these. And then I don't know that we might actually go for just taking these out as well. But I don't know. We might. I think we're just going to get started on these and see how they come out first. So yeah, let's get into it. All right, guys, updated. So I did not get lucky and the thing that I stress about happening, but it's all right, <laughs> we're gonna keep going. So basically I was trying to, as you guys saw in the time-lapse video, I got to a point with the Dremel where I was trying to pop them open and it was just, it was either gonna take all day and night or it was just, it was just not gonna work. It's gonna take way too much time to try to drum out every single edge. So I ended up cracking them open. So they're cracked open and this is what they look like. Unfortunately, it's not the whole entire thing clear, but it is what it is. And then as of right now, we completely did the other tail light, completely prepped it for paint. And now we're gonna see how this turns out because there's no really going back. I'm, if this doesn't work, then I'll just have a new set of tails on the way. It's not that really that big of a deal. So yeah, here we go. Everything's prepped and hopefully the paint turns out good. We did all the edges and everything like that already, dremeled them all down. So yep, let's get to it.
All right, guys, update. This is now the third coat that I put on. It turned out, honestly, super, super good. Way better than I thought. And it looks amazing. I gotta, um, I'm gonna end up doing, honestly, I might throw on another coat just because of this little spots right there. See if those will go away. And then maybe get a little thicker coat and then I'm gonna clear coat it and then we'll do one layer of clear coat because I actually don't really have that much, but it's a really good clear coat. So I'm gonna throw the clear coat on and then put these out in the sun to dry and then we'll get started on the second pair. We actually gotta start prepping this one very soon while we're waiting for this to dry because we are losing daylight. We've already been at it for like three and a half hours. So, yep, here we are. We'll throw on that last coat, I think, and then clear coat, and then we will let them to dry and then see how they look. We'll pull off the tape and see what's up. So stay tuned, guys. We're almost done. Almost done, hopefully. All right, guys, and I didn't go over this, but while that's drying, like I said, I just threw on that last coat, fourth coat, and then I'm gonna let it dry and we'll throw on a clear coat. Um, while I was doing that, my friends went ahead and took these out. So it's just three bolts under here. And then you have the two right here. And that's what he is currently breaking right now. As you can see, not a fun process, but it is what it is. If someone can find me some built Q50 taillights that are, you know, under 700 bucks. Yeah, let me know because it's not going to happen. DIY for a reason. So, yep. Just these three, these two, and then you're gonna, this is kind of like, it's not really an adhesive. It's just been there so long. It's like this, it's just a rubber like lining. It's been there so long that it'll, it's gonna feel like it's sticking and you're just gonna have to just rip it right off because that's what they were having problems with. They wanted me to do it because they don't want to mess it up or anything, but that's all it was. It was just this padding that was underneath that sticks to it, so. Yo, get some glasses. That is ridiculous. Man's got plastic flying everywhere. But yeah, so we're gonna get started on the um, clear coat. I'm gonna start prepping this and then wait, and then I'll throw on that clear coat and then we'll update you guys, see how it looks. This is one of the most, the best parts though. Probably that shit look fire. Holy sh And that is why it is so important to prep properly. All right guys, so we have completed them. This is exactly what they're looking like right now. I already made this video and my phone died, so <laughs> I'm not as ecstatic about it, but it came out freaking amazing. Like this is honestly 10 times better than what I thought was gonna come out. So we already finished all the coats of clear coat and all the coats of paint. Now we're just waiting. We're putting them in slowly one, one by one. We're about to throw in this side and then, well, we're gonna throw in the left side and then we'll throw in the right and then show you guys what they came out. And just to go over this with you guys, this is the paint you guys are gonna need. It's chrome. It's called chrome. I tried another one and it was nothing compared to this we saw a video on this and then i went ahead and bought this one so you're gonna need this one. i only used one bottle and i did about three to four coats on each tail light so yeah so at least to get the best layering so i got this and then this is actually very expensive clear coat which i don't even know it's my it's my friends thankfully they let me use what's left of it at least a little bit so at least that I wanted to put on the clear coat just because I feel like it'll protect the paint more and in the long run, it'll do it better just to have that little extra protection and clearness on it. 
but yeah it really came out really good and i'm about to throw them on the whip so yeah let's get into it i'm just gonna do the process of uh putting them into the back now so yep let's get into it all right y'all so this is the final result i'm gonna go ahead and show you them illuminating because this came out like 10 times better than i thought it was to be honest but look that's them unlocked it's so nice. It came out really good. It basically Hi, literally, you thank you so much. It basically does the job exactly what you wanted it to do, to do the clears. It looks amazing. The paint and everything, as you can see, it looks fairly like, like it's like, it came like this almost, like I bought them off eBay. It's exactly what we're going for, so yeah. That's it guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something from this video and maybe you guys will do it yourself. I hope to get tagged. I want y'all to tag me in it on Instagram if you guys do because that would be cool as fuck. But yeah, so this is it.